Good morning everyone. We've just arrived in a place called Albufeira. This is one of the most popular destinations here in the Algarve. And we just drove here from Portimao where we're staying, which was about 45 minutes away, so not too far. And right now we're just gonna be heading into the old town. I think we're gonna walk around there a bit and then check out some beaches because this place is right on the coast. So you can definitely tell it would be an extremely touristy place from just the amount of shops there are. Right now during Covid and winter it just seems like one of those quiet uh, Portuguese villages just like all the rest but in the summertime it would never be like this. We've actually met a lot of people that don't like this area because of that but maybe visiting right now in the in the winter is actually nice. Ah Brazil. Caipirinha Brazil. Caipirinha. Carol. <laughs> so if you don't know that's a very popular alcoholic drink in Brazil with like lime, right? Lime and, and cachaça. Cachaça or vodka or yeah. something. And they they have here in Portugal as well because there are many Brazilians here. So. Yeah, loads of Brazilians in Portugal. <laughs> found a pretty good viewpoint of the main beach here in Albufeira. Not even sure what it's called, maybe Albufeira Beach. It's a really big beach. I didn't realize they had a beach at this big here. Weather's no good today, as you can see. Extremely cloudy, not sunny like the last few days. But yeah, huge beach and just loads of hotels and stuff everywhere. Carol's testing out her new camera yeah, for photography. Hour. New camera. Ours, yeah. What is it? A Canon? Um, RP. US RP. Let me see that one. Yeah, fancy. It's supposed to take really good photos. Yeah, yeah. It's not the best one on the, on the market. market. But uh, it's good for what we want. We don't want anything too expensive and not anything big. And this is good, I think. Yeah, it's still pretty light, right? Yeah, because the, the, the other camera that we had, the, the other Canon, is like three or more than three years old yeah like three four years old yeah. broken screen bro broken everything yeah now we got this one yeah so i'll probably be using that for the zoom shots mm -hmm. instead of this gopro the sunset shot. yeah the sunset shots <laughs> So check this out, it's the first time I've seen an elevator on the beach in the Algarve. Ends up being an awesome view deck as well. I haven't seen many beaches with an elevator. <laughs> no, that's uh, interesting, isn't it? Yeah, that's a new thing for me. <laughs> I might have never seen a beach with an elevator. No, I haven't, but my orca has one, it's like that. Oh, yeah? Uh, no one we went to. Oh, anyway. Yeah, the luck. <laughs> yeah, so you get a better view of how the buildings look here, right on the beachfront, on the cliff side. Check out the Airbnb of these cats. The cat house. <laughs> It's a beautiful one, isn't it? It is, cat paradise. That's why they're so chill. Yeah, look at him. 
He is loving life. I'm loving life. <laughs> this cat colony is authorized by City Hall. Volunteers monitor and feed them daily. That's nice of everyone. <laughs> Just found Carol's house. Check it out. Casa Carolina. Because their full name's Carolina. Yeah. Tiny house. Yeah, very yeah, look at the size of these houses. Nice artwork. We decided to stop at this awesome restaurant that we just found here, right on the side of the coast. Got an amazing view. Didn't even know they had restaurants like this. Look at that for a view. Probably the best view we've had, right? In the Algarve, at a restaurant anyway. Yeah, and the weather, it's better now. Yeah, it's perfect. Now it's opened up. Have you guys ever eaten here before? No, that's the first Not time. Not here, just in the center of the town. Did you know there was restaurants here though? We knew the water feel. It's just we know I've been here many times actually. Probably yeah. just two or three times, don't it? Yeah, awesome spot though. Yeah. And we got the Portuguese style starters, so the bread with the what is it, the butter and the black olives. These are probably grown in the Algarve, aren't they? Will be. Black yeah. olives. Yeah. Yeah, super tasty. So I got a tuna steak here. Seems to be in some sort of tomato sauce, loads of vegetables. And this was only eight euros ninety. Surprisingly cheap for the location, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. And what did you guys get? Chicken piri piri. Piri piri yeah, is that like a Portuguese sauce. thing? It's a pepper sauce. Oh, pepper sauce. Very hot pepper. You know how much that one was? Uh, nine eighty. Nine eighty. Nine eighty. And Carol got the omelette. Omelette. Yeah. And with price. You know what price that was? Uh, I think around six eighty or six eighty only. Yeah. That's crazy how it's that, that price yeah. with this view. Yeah. It's actually one of the cheapest meals we've had in the Algo. Mm -hmm. Awesome. now is a archaeological site so here it just talks about the medieval fortification of Albufeira at that time it's called Al Buaira or something very similar and there used to be a castle here the existing structures correspond to a part of two Islamic houses 12th and 13th centuries so I think that's this part here yeah there's barely anything left but this would have been the base and around here, I think that's a museum. And I think this is part of a church, I'm not sure. We're just going on a little walk before we head out of this place. Got a really nice walkway here, right at the side of the beach. This place actually reminds me a bit of like Praia da Rocha mixed with Cavoeiro. Yeah, yeah, I think the little houses are like the houses from Cavoeiro. This but slope here. Yeah, but it's way bigger than Cavoeiro. Yeah, you get like the big hotels as well, like Praia da Rocha, but yeah, all the rocks and stuff scattered around the cliff edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very similar. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is beautiful. Better than we expected, I think. I think we say that about every single place, but yeah, it is better than we expected. Look at this part here for a different kind of building. I think it's a... Uh, a bar or something? Antiquity bar, Quarters da Vila. Oh, it's shells. Wow. <laughs> the whole wall is made from shells. All different kinds. Even here as well, these patterns made out of shells. So 
we even have a outdoor escalator in this spot. <laughs> I haven't seen that in the Algarve either. Here we have a statue of Carol. Hey Carol, it's you. Hi, sweetie. Oh, look at you. Parece muito, né? Same weight. Pregnant Carol. <laughs> Next year, next year. Next year? Oh no. We've driven about 10 minutes, 15 minutes east now to another like a coastal resort town or resort village i'm not sure what it is and it's called olhos d'agua so we're gonna check this place out as well never even seen pictures of this place So this place is a tiny little village and beach, like I said, way smaller than Albufeira. Still seems quite popular though, there's quite a few tourists here, more than I expected. But just loads of little houses here it seems, not many big hotels. The orange rocks. Orange rocks? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, back there, that's pretty cool. Look at those views, man. Impressive, right? Have you guys been here before? Yeah. Oh, you have? Oh, so you've seen this? Yeah. Okay, wow. So those cliffs that you could see that start on this little village here, Olhos d'Agua, they continue on all the way around the back. And then they literally just go all the way down the coast. It's like this huge cliff edge. Looks amazing. gonna be it for this video we're just gonna go back in the car and head back to our place in Portimao I actually saw that that beach over there has a really awesome walkway loads of people walking along the beach as well so yeah we'll probably do that one day looks like it'll be a long walk but yeah it should be cool either way so if you enjoyed the video just drop a like as usual subscribe if you like to see more videos like this follow us on Instagram and we'll see you around